Would you agree that the architecture industry, as we know today, is full of problems? Don't you think this is rather odd that back in the 90s, architecture was a very lucrative industry and people found success with relative ease? One of the biggest concerns architects have today is that salaries are very low and it takes several years to find your footing and some sort of success in the field. And on the other hand, UI UX, which is also a design field, is skyrocketing. In fact, if you're an architect, you might have heard about your colleagues leaving architecture and moving into UI UX for better prospects. Why is this? Why is it that even though both of them are design fields, UI UX is better paying than architecture? In this video, I will break down the reasons behind this pay gap and what architects can do to be paid higher the way UI UX professionals are paid. To find out the whole truth, we would have to rewind a couple of decades. Back in the 80s and 90s, it was standard for professionals to advance in their careers by slowly adding to their experience. They were paid according to man hours and witnessed incremental growth in their salaries every year. Then suddenly, around the late 90s and early 2000s, there came a paradigm shift. With the emergence of coding as a skill began the digital age. People realized that a coder can actually develop programs and digital products that could impact millions of processes around the world. This is simply because coding could help us automate many processes. As entrepreneur and AI developer, Dennis R. Mortensen says in an interview with Quartz, automation takes away the parts of our jobs we don't like and leaves room for more meaningful work. When we are able to do more with our creative minds, human civilization is propelled further towards progress. So, digital skills started gaining momentum. Companies found that a person who knew how to code could actually contribute to their output 15 times more than an average employee. As a result, the demand for people with digital first skills grew rapidly, and so did their salaries. According to a report by CNN Money, salaries in tech were around 40,000 US dollars at the turn of the century. But now, CNBC claims that even entry-level jobs in tech pay around $100,000 a year in Silicon Valley. What we have come to learn from this phenomena is that any skill, if utilized correctly in conjunction with the latest technology, can result in high paying jobs. This is exactly what happened with UI UX field. As personal computers became more and more popular in the 90s, designers were called upon by companies, starting with Apple, to lend their artistic vision to all aspects of a user's experience in the system, including industrial design, graphics, the interface, the physical interaction, and the manual. So you could say that intermingling of the tech and design fields yielded the most sought after and the highest paid design professions ever, interaction design and experience design. Now, let's come back to the field of architecture. Unfortunately, for architecture, the penetration of digital technology didn't happen until a decade ago. This delay is due to a variety of reasons, such as resistance to change, unnecessary reliance on legacy tools, inefficient processes, lack of visibility across the supply chain, and shortage of skilled workers. Because of this, salaries in architecture field have continued to be rather low till date. But if you are a young architect today, you need not feel disappointed or dejected about this because there is a way for you to fix this problem. It has been found that with certain digital skills like building information modeling and computational design, which involve automations in design work and data management, architects can do several hours worth of work in a very short span of time, thereby increasing their productivity and output. There's more efficiency in your work, better visualization, and better coordination. In fact, one study in 2020 revealed that BIM allows architects to reduce 
both the time and cost involved in their work by more than 50%. Ultimately, you're able to make a much bigger difference in the organization you work in. Now, over here, it is worth introducing the concept of technology adoption lifecycle, pitched by American sociologist Everett Rogers in the 1960s. When it comes to the adoption of any technology, it always starts with the innovators, who are tech enthusiasts and who create new concepts. They are followed by the early adopters, who are visionaries and help transform new concepts into reality. Then come the early and late majority, who are late to adopt technology and prefer it to be tried and tested before adopting it completely. And finally, we have the laggards, who are always skeptical of new concepts and therefore, because of this hesitation, are never able to extract the full benefits of new technologies. Now, out of all of these people, you can guess yourself who gets paid the most. Of course, architects who come in the category of innovators and early adopters are the highest paid in the industry. Here's the bottom line. If you are an architect, it will be of great benefit to you to start using the latest digital technology available. My personal advice would be to adopt digital tools. This would enhance your design skills and design thinking process. This is especially important for driving innovation in the industry. In addition, this would enhance your productivity, making you much more valuable to any organization you would be working at. I understand a lot of architecture colleges don't teach advanced digital tools, but regardless, there are several resources available online now where you can learn these skills. Especially digital tools used in computational design, BIM or ARVR, which are high paying niches in the industry. You'll be amazed at where good technological skills can take you in your career. So that's it. I hope this video gave you an insight into accelerating your career in architecture. Now, if you would like to learn the architecture industry relevant digital skills, remember to check out our website oneis2x.com and kickstart your learning journey today. And for more insights on architecture, remember to like, share and subscribe our channel.